Ah yes, it is once again time to make an evil equation out of some basic math. I do enjoy taking apart these weird complicated looking symbols, numbers and expressions, and then churning them into foul looking monstrosities. For today's video I decided to sacrifice the basal problem. It will be glorious. Okay, so first of all, what is the basal problem? Well, let's say we have 1 over x, and then decide to square the x. We can now plug consecutive numbers for x and start adding these fractions together. If we could do this for infinity, we would get this irrational number 1.64493 and so on. We can also express this as an infinite summation that looks like this. And for a while, no one knew how or if this number could even be expressed in some more elegant way. That is until Leonard Euler demonstrated that it is equal to this thing, which I think is pretty cool because you can use this to make this silly way of getting pi. I however wanted to do something slightly different, so I decided to come up with this rather basic integral, which of course also equals to our basal number, which means those two things are equal to one another. And using my patented cheese maneuver, we can divide this by this to get 1. Ah yes, the beginnings of another wonderfully evil equation. At this point, I did change my mind. I wondered what would happen if I multiply these expressions together instead of dividing them. The result would be this thing. I thought this was kind of fascinating. We get this nice fat number over here, and it gave me an idea. What if I could use this to make one of my favorite numbers? That's right, it was time to make the old 69 out of this equation. So the first thing to do was to tuck that summation inside the integral to make the whole thing look nicer. And now I decided to take that pi and also tuck it inside of our soon to be evil expression. That x over here looked a bit empty. So I moved the pi into the numerator by putting a little minus over here. Excellent. The next thing I figured I would do was to multiply both these things by one half, making this into 72. The other half could be tucked away in here, making this 3 into a 6. Now, to make this fraction into a whole number, I would use the negative power once again, like so. And this would be a perfect moment to make that negative 1 into Euler's identity. So we can make our equation look classy. Alright, not bad. For the final step, we just need to subtract 3. And here we go, a fun way to generate the number 69 using the basal problem. I do enjoy creating these funky equations. Just look at how pretty this thing is. Summation, integral, Euler's identity, very nice. What do you think, Minxie? Is this equation evil enough for you? Yeah. Well, Minx, what do you think of this equation? <laughs> Not evil enough. This stuff here is fine, but that 3 is a little bit boring and sticks out like a stupid hangnail. You need to butcher this dumb looking 3 if you really want to make this equation super evil. <laughs> Ah, sheesh. Fine, let's do something about this boring 3. I guess I'll have to use some serious fluff and puff after all. Okay, what can I do here? For this one, I figure I'll just go super cheesy. I decided to use the old cancellation technique. Because after all, this is a small number. You multiply 3 by n over n, then split the top into 3 separate n's. The next step is to replace each of these n's with something that looks different, but is actually the same for all 4 n's. I, of course, decided to stick to the basal number, for the sake of consistency. The first n could, of course, just be Euler's solution. For the second n, I decided to use the Riemann zeta function. You see, the summation is actually a version of the zeta function, so I figure why not. Zeta of 2 is equal to the basal number. So here we go. Now for the third one, I did find this slightly more intimidating looking integral while looking up the problem. But to be honest, it is not that much impressive if you really think about it. It is just a typical parabola, from negative pi to positive pi divided by 4 pi. I found it on Wikipedia, and it fits, so let's use it. For the denominator, I decided to be a little fancy, and use the expanded gamma integral version of the zeta function. Again, we plug 2 for z, and get our desired result. We can make the gamma portion more compact, by once again using the minus 1 power. We get rid of this exponent because 2 minus 1 is just 1. And we can then stretch out our integral using the same minus 1 technique once again. Now, I also didn't like the fact that this looked so obvious. So I decided to factor out 1 over 6 from the top. That 6 over 4 can now become 3 over 2. And let's also move it inside the integral like so. 
and might as well be gross and move the gamma function inside there as well giving us this fun little integral for the denominator yeah i think it looks good definitely an evil way to make the number three so here we are we take our original fancy pants and subtract this ridiculous looking thing from it and of course the whole thing is equal to 69 here we are a fantastic incredibly complicated way to suggest to people that you are into 69 year old women and a fun way to use the basal number to make a scary looking equation i hope you guys had fun with this one i certainly did and if you did please subscribe like share and leave some comments and i hope to see all of you in the next one thanks for watching